GKNPLC is a British multinational automotive and aerospace components company headquartered in Redditch, Worcestershire. The company was formerly known as Guest, Keane and Nettlefolds and can trace its origins to 1759 and the birth of the Industrial Revolution. History Topic seventeen fifty nine to nineteen hundred. The origins of GKN lie in the founding of the Dolace Ironworks in the village of Dolace, Mirtha Tidville, Wales, by Thomas Lewis and Isaac Wilkinson. John Guest was appointed manager of the works in seventeen sixty seven, having moved from Brosley. In 1786 Guest was succeeded by his son, Thomas Guest, who formed the Dolace Iron Company with his son-in-law William Tate. Guest introduced many innovations and the works prospered, under Guest's leadership, alongside his manager John Evans, and after his death in 1852 that of his wife Lady Charlotte Guest, the Dolace Ironworks gained the reputation of being one of the world's great industrial concerns". Though the Bessemer process was licensed in 1856, nine years of detailed planning and project management were needed before the first steel was produced. The company thrived with its new cost-effective production methods, forming alliances with the Consett Iron Company and Krupp. By 1857 G.T. Clark and William Menelaus, his manager, had constructed the Goat Mill, the world's most powerful rolling mill. By the mid 1860s, Clark's reforms had borne fruit in renewed profitability. Clark delegated day to day management to Menelaus, his trusteeship terminating in 1864 when ownership passed to Sir Ivor Guest. Clark continued to direct policy, building a new plant at the docks at Cardiff and vetoing a joint stock company. He formally retired in 1897. 1900 to 1966 On the 9th of July 1900, the Dolace Iron Company and Arthur Keane's Patent Nut and Bolt Company merged to form Guest, Keane and Co. Limited Nettlefolds Limited, a leading manufacturer of fasteners, established in Smethwick, West Midlands in 1854, was acquired in 1902 leading to the change of name to Guest, Keane and Nettlefolds GKN. .In 1920 John Lysot & Co. was acquired. Guest Keane Baldwins Steel production remained at the core of the company, but under increasing profit margin pressure. In 1930 the company combined its steel production business with that of rival Baldwins to form Guest Keen Baldwins, which now held Baldwins, coke ovens at Margem, blast furnaces and steel melting shop at Margem, steel works and rolling mills at Port Talbot, blast furnaces at Britain Ferry, limestone quarry at Corneli GKN, Dolace Iron and Steel Works, Cardiff Iron and Steel Works, Coke Ovens at Cambron, Limestone and Silica Quarries In 1935 the company demolished the Cardiff Works to construct a new production facility on the same site, funded by an issue of debentures. Due to a resultant global shortage of pig iron, in 1937 the company fired up the single remaining blast furnace at Dolace. All of the sites were heavily bombed by the Nazi Luftwaffe during the war, and the required investment meant that all of these assets were nationalized as part of the 1951 Iron and Steel Act, resultantly becoming part of the Iron and Steel Corporation of Great Britain. GKN were still high 
highly reliant on the supply of good quality steel, so in 1954 negotiated from the Asset Realization Company the repurchase of key assets from ISC, which were renamed Guest Keen Iron and Steel Co. In 1961 the company's name changed again to GKN Steel Company. Fasteners These mergers heralded half a century in which GKN became a major manufacturer of screws, nuts, bolts and other fasteners. The company reflected the vertical integration fashionable at the time embracing activities from coal and ore extraction, and iron and steel making to manufacturing finished goods. Topic. Crankshafts After the First World War it became apparent that Britain was likely to follow France and more recently the United States in developing a large-scale auto industry. GKN acquired another fastener manufacturer, F. W. Cotterill Ltd., in 1919. Cotterill owned a subsidiary named J. W. Garrington, which specialized in forgings. The forgings produced at the Garrington Darleston plant, later supplemented by a large plant at Bromsgrove, enabled GKN to become a major supplier of crankshafts, connecting rods, half shafts, and numerous smaller forged components to the UK auto industry during and beyond the period of massive expansion between the two world wars. Pressed steel wheels In 1920, GKN purchased steel company John Lysot and their subsidiary, Joseph Sankey and Sons Limited. After training as an engineer, Sankey founded a major tea tray producer. A pioneer motorist, he became friends with Herbert Austin, becoming a supplier of sheet steel components to the industry. By 1914, the company's customers for sheet steel bodies included Austin, Daimler, Humber, Rover, Star, and Argyle. Due to complaints from motor manufacturers about the propensity of the then wooden wheels on early cars to disintegrate on the slightest encounter with any roadside curb, using his experience from T trays, Sankey developed an alternate pressed steel wheel. Production started in 1908, with customers including Herbert Austin and, later, William Morris. In addition to his original factory at Bilston a new plant was established near Wellington, Shropshire, which was devoted to wheel production. By the time the business was acquired by GKN, the plant was supplying wheels to many UK manufacturers. By 1969 the highly automated Wellington plant was producing over 5.5 million wheels a year at a maximum rate of approximately 30,000 per day. The business also undertook other automotive-related works, including supplying the chassis for the Triumph Herald and its derivatives. They were also at this time building the versatile GKN developed GKN FV 432 armored personnel carrier. Topic nationalization of steel The post-war government nationalized the steel industry under Iron and Steel Corporation of Great Britain. The Act of Parliament of 1949 took effect in February 1951. In 1951, a new subsidiary, Blade Research and Development (BRD), was formed at Aldridge, Staffordshire, to produce aero engine turbine blades. Following a fall in demand for turbine blades in the late 1950s, the BRD factory switched to producing constant velocity joints and driveshafts for vehicles. In 1953, Britain's steel industry was denationalised by a new government, but that lasted only 14 years. Topic: 
1966 to 1991. At the end of April 1965, the recently elected Labour government published a white paper proposing the nationalisation of 90%, by output, of Britain's steel industry. GKN Steel was transferred to public ownership at the end of July 1967. <laughs> Driveline. Beginning a program of diversification into the automotive field in 1966 GKN bought BRD's much larger competitor, Beerfield Limited, which held the great bulk of the British market for CVJs, constant velocity joints, and was a company that since 1938 had incorporated both the Sheffield-based Laycock Engineering later best known as a post-war overdrive manufacturer, and Hardy Spicer Limited of Birmingham, England, also a manufacturer of constant velocity joints. Historically, such joints had few applications, even following the improved design proposed by Alfred H. Erzepa in 1936. However, in 1959, Alec Isagonis had developed the revolutionary mini motor car that relied on the Hardy Spicer joints for its front wheel drive technology. The massive expansion in the exploitation of front-wheel drive in the 1970s and 1980s led to the acquisition of other similar businesses and a 43% share of the world market by 2002. On the death of founder Tony Vanderveld in 1967, GKN acquired the lucrative Maidenhead-based Vanderveld bearing manufacturer that was at the time exporting more than 50% of its output to overseas vehicle manufacturers. This was part of a larger trend for GKN that during this period, under its managing director Raymond Brooks, was working to reduce its dependence on UK automaker customers at a time when the domestic industry was seen to be stumbling, in response to bewildering, "...government interference and fiscal short-sightedness." With British new car registrations in the first four months of 1969 a massive 33% down on the corresponding period of the previous year, as a result of the large number of mergers, Abram Games was commissioned to develop a new corporate identity in 1969 when the distinctive angular GKN symbol was created and the new company colours of blue and white introduced. In 1974, GKN acquired Kirkstall Forge Engineering, a manufacturer of truck axles in Leeds. <laughs> GKN Steel by 1968, GKN Steel had recreated its downline business, and started to build its upline business through aggressive building of a steel stockholding business. In 1972 it acquired Firth Cleveland, a hot and cold rolled strip business with a downline in sintered products, reinforcement steels, wire fasteners and garage equipment. In 1973 it exchanged the remaining assets at Dolace along with £30 million in cash to the nationalised British Steel Corporation, in return for the previously nationalised Brimbo Steelworks. After acquiring steel stockholding competitor Miles Druce & Co., by 1974 the company had created a full integrated steel production and manufacturing business. By the late 1980s, with extensive Japanese competition in the axle and constant velocity joint business, the company started selling off its steel and fasteners businesses. By 1991, it had disposed of all of the assets within these two business lines. This included the closure of its Bilston factory in the West Midlands in 1989. The factory buildings were demolished soon after. The offices built in the late 1950s were not demolished until 1995.
1991 present Having disposed of its steel production asset, in 1986 the company renamed itself GKN, focused on military vehicles, aerospace and industrial services. In 1994 it acquired the helicopter manufacturing business of Westland Aircraft. In November 1995 associate, Dana Corporation bought GKN's Axel Group. At that time GKN held 34% of the world market for constant velocity joints. At the same time GKN took larger shares of its other driveline joint ventures with Dana in Brazil, Argentina and Colombia. From the late 1990s, the company built a major global business in powder metallurgy, which operates as the GKN Powdered Metallurgy Group. In 1998, the armored vehicle business was sold to Alvis plc, and subsequently incorporated into Alvis Vickers Ltd. In July 2000, Finmechanica and GKN agreed to merge their respective helicopter subsidiaries to form Augusta Westland. In 2004, GKN completed the sale of its 50% shareholding in Augusta Westland to Finmechanica. In 2002, GKN acquired a significant stake in, and by 2004 took over the whole concern of, the Japanese manufacturer of differentials and driveline torque systems Tochigi Fuji Songyo KK, based in Tochigi, Tochigi. GKN went on to acquire Monitor Aerospace Corp. in Amityville, New York and Precision Machining in Wellington, Kansas in 2006, part of the Airbus plant at Filton near Bristol for £150 million in 2008 and all of Getrag's Axel Business and Axel Manufacturing Facilities in 2011. In 2011 GKN Aerospace Engineering Services Division was acquired by Quest Global. In July 2012, GKN agreed to acquire the Swedish aerospace components manufacturer Volvo Aero from AB Volvo for £633 million, $986 million. Following Kevin Smith's retirement at the end of 2011, Nigel Stein took over as chief executive on the 1st of January 2012. In 2015, GKN acquired Dutch aerospace company Fokker Technologies, headquartered in Papendrecht, the Netherlands. Melrose Industries bid 8.1 billion pounds for the company in March 2018. The UK government allowed the transaction to proceed, having reviewed objections by GKN workers and unions, and after Melrose agreed national security measures. Topic operations The company is organized as follows GKN Aerospace Aerostructures Engine Products Propulsion Systems GKN Driveline Driveshafts Freight Services Autostructures Cylinder Liners Sheep Bridge Stokes GKN Land Systems Power Management Powertrain Systems and Services Wheels and Structures Stromag GKN Powder Metallurgy Sinter Metals Hagenese 